Right guys, it's Madam. welcome back. Right, we're going to continue the America theme for a couple of days and today I am out in the M103. And when I recorded this replay, uh, this tank is not fully upgraded. I have the first 120mm package with the stock turret. The stock 120, I think it's 0.4 accuracy. But you do get some decent pen and it's 120mm cannon so the alpha is pretty good. But M103 so far for me, I have it fully upgraded now and I'm nearly there to the T110E5. Yeah, M103 to me has been a bit of a letdown and I was expecting it to be honest. Whenever I've seen an M103 on the battlefield, if I've been in an E75, ST1, something like that, um, or even lower tiered tanks, I've had absolutely no trouble at all of abusing the turret on the M103. And that's exactly what a lot of other players have been doing to me. I have had a few good games in between. This was my best effort with the stock 120 and uh, the upgraded tank is actually way better um, but just still not a particularly big fan of it to be honest. Sorry America. Yeah I'd much rather be in a SD1 or an E75. Right so we got up top of the hill and I'm gonna take the position I want. There's no SPGs on the enemy team but I do like to be behind these buildings. Gives you gives you the opportunity just to uh, poke out like that and get back into cover and get your reload done without taking any damage and that is the thing with the M103 if I was in an SD1 here I wouldn't even b bother pulling back I would just sit there oh snap that shot and it misses shame 5120 would have been a nice tank to get a hit into yeah if I was in an SD1 I would just sit there and let that guy unload into my turret just to try and get a steel wall uh, but I can't do it in this tank, especially not with the stock turret. The upgraded turret is a little better, but the uh, the back of the turret where the hatches are are still so... Oh, Christ, that was a bad race. There we go, look. I had my turret just slightly not facing that guy. And it goes straight through. You can't argue about the gun choices. Although this thing is not very accurate, see at short range you can still snipe out. Um, even small areas of turrets that you know you can overmatch. 5100 hasn't learned his lesson. I'm going to teach him one. There we go, he's nearly out of the game. And that is a mistake there, I shouldn't be turning my turret, I should be using my RB button, locking my turret forward and then looking around so my turret... Oh there we go again, more damage taken. Down to half health. A lot of other tier 9 heavy tanks, I'd still be on full health if I'd have taken the top of the hill and got hold down. Never mind. If you like medium tanks and heavily armoured medium tanks, this might suit you more than it suits me. I'm a, I'm a heavy man at heart, really. I love being at the front. I love being at the front. Absorbing damage, pumping big shots into the enemy team. That's what, I, that's what I enjoy about this game. Heavies are definitely my favourite category. Anyway, so the hill is won. Get a nice hit into the Type 61 there with 0 0.40 accuracy. That's not bad at all. Fifty-one twenty. They're all rushing down the middle. Got to be a little bit careful here. And that was a very bad shot. Missed an easy kill on that V-Keeper. But never mind. So that Tiger 2 is just sitting behind that rock down there. I either push down and kill him or do I go back and defend? Because... If we look at the other side of the map, we have no friendlies. Uh, this tier they probably would be in radio range if they were over there, so it's just probably we, but we haven't got anybody over there. And if you count the greens on the map, yeah, uh, we're pretty much all this side, so I'm going to motor my way back. Can we hit the type again? Yes we can. Yeah, with this gun and that accuracy, I've had loads of games, or had loads of games, where you queue up loads of shots lovely, and they just don't hit. Whereas this is just one game. RNG was definitely on my side with this one. 
and it let me have a decent game. There's the enemy's eye here. Ooh, nice shot, queued that one up nice, and again RNG was on my side. There we go, it's all just going right in this replay. That was a slim shot, I didn't really didn't expect that one to hit, not within hold down either. So I'm holding back because there's a Conqueror there. Uh, really, and there's lots of team support. They're starting to cap, so I can't sit here forever. So we dragged the numbers back, and we are now one ahead. I think he was in the cap. No, he wasn't, so there's obviously somebody else down there. Can we pick up the kill on the Conqueror? Yes, we can. So there's three enemies left, including one tier 9 auto loading heavy tank. That could be a problem, and that RU could be a problem too, but it's going to let me push down. In this situation they really just want to sacrifice themselves to let this guy in the cap cap out. There he is. Is that 5120? Hit once. Yes, get the reset in. He must be out of ammo clipping. There we go. We killed the AMX 5120. Now we're hunting down this RU. Oh, he's gone down as well, so it's just a T30 left. And I've not seen the T30 in the whole replay. Um, when I was playing it, I mean. So absolutely no idea where he is. So I'm gonna push up here and have a spot. If I don't spot anything here, I should be clear to trundle across the field. Or at least go halfway into those bushes. Well, I didn't notice that town until now. I've used all of my AP ammunition. I'm now down to heat, which is going to come in handy in a minute. using the cover to advance. Our light tank's gone ahead so hopefully I should be clear to push up and not get destroyed by this T-30 and hopefully he doesn't have the big gun. I think that 155 could, there he is! Bang! Whoa! This gun is certainly being nice to me in this game. And I'll do it again! Wow! 0.4 accuracy and I'm not even letting them aim fully. This is ridiculous. I swear there's some sort of like lottery roll system where every now and again you get one game where RNG is zero. Right, so I'm spotted. Jinking around. Missed that shot. So now I queue up a heat round against the side of his turret and it misses. Can't push in, he's now one shot. If I move in, I'm not going to get the kill. It hits the side of his turret square with a heat round. And we take down the last kill of the game there. Nice game in the M103 with the stock 120mm cannon there and the stock turret. Nice amount of silver. 
nice amount of experience for the daily double that really helped me with my grind up to the bigger gun 6275 damage mastery ace tanker and picked up a defender for killing that AMX 5120 he'd been sat in a cap for ages did block a decent amount of damage there 1630 that's not bad for an M103 to be honest uh, it's very been very rare for me to block more than that without actually taking the hits and them scoring as damage anyway there we go top of the team and that was my first ace mastery in the M103 America anyway right there we go fellas hope you enjoyed the replay and I shall catch you again soon with some more. See you later.